B'shiz Kol HaKul HaKudosh Hazeh. I stand in front of you with an awe and a Yudas HaKovit. I know that I'm standing before a Heilig Etzibah of elevated people, people that are chosen by Hashem, and it's an Achrayas, and I'm on his tremble. When I got the phone call for Rabavi a few days ago, I was humbled. I have this chus that I've spoken for Rabavi several times on several occasions in different forms. But I know that this time, tonight, it's different. This is the greatest COVID that he's mechabed me to speak to those. that are the closest to him, to the greatest people he's affiliated with. Rabavi calls it TP, Twisted Parenting. And then I got a phone call for Abgedalia Miller's Ozangizont. And again I was humbled. Our Shaykh is his only Toyota. Abgedalia is a Mechadish Batoyota. And Abgedalia calls it Kesha Nafshi. A spiritual connection of souls. And there is a connection between both names, TP and Kesha and Nafshi. And I would like to address and find a connection between both names that connects to the message that we want to take out tonight. We're gathered in a tremendous time. It's a Gewaldiga Yisrutzen. Jetzt is the Ike von Chanake. As Davne Neza points out several times, Chanukah and Pirim Atuyim and Toivim, that there is no Havdullah because we never leave go of that Yom Tif. As my uncle, the Heilig and the Sivish Shulam, Sri would say that the Gemurah says in Shabbos, Omeruva, Hoya Tufis, Nechanukah, the Oymet. If someone stands and holds a Nechanukah in his hand, Lo Yusuf, Lo Klim, he has to put it down. He didn't do nothing if he just holds it in his hand. And he says the Remez is, when it comes to Nechanaka, the Tachlis is to take its light and go towards it the entire year, not to be a Oymet. Chanukah is not enough for the days of the Yom Tov of Chanukah. You can't be standing, you have to be Hoylich towards the light, according to the light that you received. And he points out that the only two times that we say the he noyam after a mitzvah, different than the Rizal established, you should always say it before a mitzvah, is Matzah Shabbos after Shabbos we say the he noyam. And Chanukah left after we kindle the lights we say the he noyam. Because the tachlis of Matzah Shabbos is to continue the oil of Shabbos for the entire week, and the tachlis of Nechanukah is to continue the oil of Chanukah for the entire year. We're gathered here to hold on. And continue the earth and Hanukkah for the entire year. Let us be misbeinen a little bit. What is the koyach of Hanukkah that pertains to us? How can we continue it and draw chizik from it to our personal lives and our personal challenges? We know that the ikka koyach of Hanukkah is Yankai Vivino. All Mekubalim bring it, the Gra brings it, the Kedusha Slavi brings it. Chanukah is connected to Yaakov Avinu, and Yaakov fights the Klippa of Yovan. The Koyach Betuma of Yovan is connected to Koyach Akdushif and Yaakov Avinu. And we know Yaakov is connected to Chanukah, there's a Sefer Berkeshmul that brings from the Shach Alatayra. Yaakov made a Metzeva after he saw the dream, Sula Metzavar Zerosha Megia Shemaim, and says, Vayatzek Shemen Al Rosha. He took a jar of Shemen of oil and he poured it on the Metzeva. Zuk the shach ala toire that this pach shem and this jar of oil was a pach shal nes, and it's the same pach that the chashmanoim find and found in the base of Migdash. And on that jar of oil, says the Megalamukas, was the Mulchumif and Yankiv mitzora shalaisov. And as the marshal brings a medrash, the Ebesh that told Yaakov, you went past the river for pachim ptanim ashalom lebenecha bepachkutin b'mei chashmanui. There's a tremendous question in Ashaykh Sushin Yankiv and Chanukah. What is the connection and how does it pertain to us? We know that Yaakov Avinu is the one, he toiled with children. 
The Medrash tells us in Eicha that Bashas the Chorben, all the others got up and tried to hold back the Chorben in their merits. They brought this Chusim. Yaakov plead and asked Bishus, one merit that I have, I was Megadol, 12 children. I was metapel with them, I was omo with them, I had toil, I had torture, it was pain and had anguish. I suffered because of them. And as Chazal tell us, he had Tzorah Shimon, Tzorah Yosef, Tzorah Dina, Tzorah Binyamin. He suffered so much of his children. But what kept him going? What was his Koyuch that could be our Koyuch? There's a Parsha, Vayetze Yankim Abeshova Vayela Charana. Says the Balaturim, Sasama says twice, Besham Doisha Rishumois, he refers to the Minchas Shai. That it's the only Parsha in the Torah that there is no Psuchas. It's a Parsha that's Kulois Tuma. It's a Parsha that's Miramas to Golos. The moment that Yaakov left Be'eshava on the way to Choron was the worst moment in the lives of our others. What a terrifying time was it for Yaakov. Yaakov leaves his father's home, Yitzhak Soma Be'eshava, he goes away from his Medesh Aleva. Esau chases him to kill him, Alifa takes away his wealth. Where is he going to? Be'es Lavan, to be Oisik Be'gashmias to toil, to the chmitchen and chasna bubum kinder, be oisik and physical. The Medrash says, Vayelech harana, charoin noi shaloylam, it was the worst place in the world for Yaakov, charan. And Yaakov spiritually, could we imagine what a downfall, a person of the Torah testifies about him, loylam yudal etchana bebeseva, he didn't sleep 14 years, he was engrossed in Torah, in plitzling, vayishkav, shokech hama shaloy banasa keba ha-shemesh, and his angish lofun auchet, the Medish has an expression about Yaakov at that moment, Bikish, Yankiv, Lavor, Venasa, Kolowoilam, Kimin Koislafun of Yankiv wanted to go out to Chutzlers, and the whole world stood against him as a wall, as an expression that you have today, try to climb a wall, that was the massive of Yaakov at that moment. The Gansa Velt, the Gestana, the Avanti, couldn't move. And in that terrible, terrifying massive of Golis, Yankov broke out of it and he paved the way and it also getreit na veig zich zahalten and gulis. What was his koyach at that moment? Says the Medrash of Shmuel Benach ben Posach and introduction Agdama to this parsha Shir la malos esa eina lahurim ma'ayin yuvay ezri. Yaakov picked up his eyes and he saw mountains. He saw ayin, nothing. Ma'ayin yuvay ezri. How could I have help? I'm at the worst matzav that could be physically, spiritually. And for the Medrash, Elo, Ezri, Me'im, Hashem. But his Kayach, his Eze was, Me'im, Hashem. What's this word that the Medrash is Moisif? Elo, Ezri, Me'im, Hashem. Ezri, Me'im, Hashem. This is the word Elo. Nochadik, Ezri, Me'im, Hashem. It should have said, Ezri Mei Hashem. What does it mean, Ezri Me'im Hashem? I believe that there's a Moiridig in the Kiddah here. And a Kiddah could, that could literally change our lives, help us in every Matzah. There is sometimes a person that waits for Yeshia, Vecha Yid Vart Nishva Kan He hopes, he has a Muna, he gives Tzedakah, he davens, he longs, he waits, he wishes. But until he's helped, he suffers, a Mitzitzich, and it's very bitter for him. Yankov over here, at Ozgetreit, Machidish Utsum, he was Mechadish, he paved a new concept, a new idea. The Rebbeinu Shloylem is with me now in the Tzura, noch far ich sehe, ich bin geholfen geworden. I have Ezer, and I have help from the Eibishter, from the fact that he's with me, and I know that he's attached to me, and as a chaylik for me. The first time in the Torah that it says that a Yid gets an Aftuchah from the Eibishter, and the first time in the Torah the Ramapana Reb Tzudek Amarech is the headquarters, it's the Shoyrish Homeinian. The first time in the Torah we find that the Ban Shalom tells the individual, Anoichi Imach, I'm with you, is in that moment, that terrifying moment of Golos that Yaakov had. The Eibishter tells him, Anoichi Imach, Ishmaticha Bechol HaShetelech, I'm with you, and I'll guard you, and I'll go with you, and I'll accompany you to wherever you'll go. Now, over here, when you're still 
before such a long journey of suffering, you're on the way to Beislava, and you're still going to be suffering and tortured by the Malach Shalaisav. Physically, he's going to affect you. But I want you to remember, not forget for a second, the Noichi Imach, I'm with you. Ich bin eins mit dich. In Tehillim Tzadik Aleph, there's a Pasuk, Ima ya Noichi b'tzara. When a Yid is in a Tzara, look to Rebbein Shalaylam, Ima ya Noichi, Ich bin mit ein, Ich lasse auf alle Himmel, in alle Malucha, Ich lasse auf alles, Ima ya Noichi, wenn er ist b'tzara. Ich bin mit ein, I'm attached, as the Maral says, Ima is the greatest of the Vikings, and not Ita. I'm one with him. And this is what Yankiv at Plitzling Margish given. He feels that he's in a terrible state. What's going to be? In the grass, the gulas, parshas, vayaytzai, charayna, shaloylam, alz brand, kaloylam, kimikaisa, lefunav. And he says, esayna, elohurim, I'm picking up my eyes. All I see is mountains. Everything is locking on me, closing on me, choking me. Me'ayin, yuvayazri, I don't see any hope. How will I be helped? And his answer that he answered to himself was, Elo, there's one way, but there's one answer. Ezri me'im Hashem, nochfas it's on Ezri me'i Hashem. It'll be that day that the Eivishter will help me. In the Chalzach Ostraim from Mansura. But before that, in the Tzura, habach ha'ezer finzan me'im Hashem, finzan imoy anoichi b'tzura. This mizmar to Hillam that we say, Imay Anoichi Betsuda is Shir Shal Paguam Zukta Gemuda. Mugnavrum brings from Tashbits that this was the weapon, this mizmar that the Chashmanon went out to Melchoma, connected hundreds of thousands of Greeks of Yavanim. They went out and they didn't see any hope. They're Ma'atim, 12, or maybe 3, Siskeli Kedayas, maybe 13 people against Revuvis, most powerful army in the world. What are we doing? Are we committing suicide? We don't know, we don't see, but we have one kayach, imoy anoichi betsuda, and as a chabda ma'ibish kenach. They have one little jar of shaman. What's the point? According to Adam and Farshim, it wasn't enough for one night, zikhanat for eight nights. What are you doing now to light and kindle a kleine jar? Ichabda ma'ibish nima anoichi betsuda, ichal teen months. And when a chabda ma'ibish nabach ale kayachis. This is the side that's mekayim and holds yidin and gulis. We find there was a vision of a snare that Moshe saw, the Psiris HaGe'ilif in Gulus Mitzrayim. What did he see? Koitzen, a snare, brent mit amoyre de gefaye, a snare boye ba'eish, a labas eish, a flam fire. And he wonders, my dear Yibber, a snare, a snare, any equal, how could it be it's not getting burned out? There's such flames here. What's the koyach? The Teret says, well, the Eibish that was there, as Rashi brings the Pasuk, fin imoy anoichi betsura, as the Rabbi Nishlalom is do. Can brennen fire, Allah besei, shabbe mevet, shabrent, mahalzech, imhat koyach, to continue on and to go on and to do what we have to do. This is what Yaakov was mashrish and planted in and ingrained in us at that parshas vayetzei, at that moment. Vayetzei, shtait vacham retubu from barn of the roof, shtait from him renoyam, shtait from shiyeschein, shtait from magal amikis, vayetzei is netraiken to rushetayvis, vaya yankiv tziris alif, yankiv zeit the tziris, the image of the ois alif. What's the remez? Aleph, zuk de zoira kudish, is neutraiken rushetaibis, lais asar puni menai. There's no place in the world vacant of Hashem. Hashem is all over. Aleph is rushetaibis, lais asar puni. There's not a place that Hashem is not with you. In the worst matzav, in the darkest matzav, in the most suffering matzav. Yaakov saw an image of Aleph, the Ibish is mit mich, yetz, afili, yetz, do. And it's mind-boggling from a matzav that Kaloilam Kamin Kaisal Lafun of the whole world is against him like a wall. He has to climb mountains and he doesn't see any Aza, any hope, any chance. He breaks out and he receives this heavenly vision. Anoichi Imach. And the Ebishta tells him, Mishmatiche Bachalashatelech, wherever you'll turn. And he inherits this Nachlabli Mitsurim with no boundaries. If that's the Yom Akkad Matsvayna of Anegba, wherever he turns, Hashem is with him. Allah flays Asar Puni, so Shtuka Platsun in my Ibish, and Imo Yanoichi, the Ibish is with me, Bitsurim, and the Gress Tetsurim. And he breaks out. And at that moment, all of a sudden, it's easier. He has Koyach. But Yisra Yaakov Raglov, the Trash and Nasa, Libai Kala Leches, the Vetim Gringa from Hartz. The Leches, he could go. He could truck, he could, he could, he could go more, a can guy, a can zich stippen. Vala mahatem aibishten hot men koyach. Dus is de gewaldige saad van Chanekif en Ima, ja neuchi betsuren.
Und ich glaube, dass nicht du kein bessere Zeit habe, wie Reb Gedalje, alle Teile jeden, der now to absorb and take in in ourselves, light up in our lives this message. Nicht du kein bessere jeden, wie der Zibbe du, Rauf in der Eulem, du seht noch nicht lehen, nein, die Yeshia. But they have one thing, the Rebbein Nishel Eulem is with me, now over here, at this matz of Bitsure. Er begleit mich, he accompanies me. I have him in the depths of my Tzure, in the Labas Eish. Sometimes, Salam will do Tzure's by Yid, no, but Amul, sometimes, get a flam off a leib, as of your Labas Eish. Amul is machlis. Amulu des Panusse, Amulu des Shedichem, Av Shulem Bayes, in Avada the topic from Kinder was the Tzuris Adar, Se brand flam flake fire, but you will not be ukal, you won't be burnt if you have the Koyach of Imai and Oichi Betzura. And when you have the Rebbein Shalom, it's not just that you don't have a Tzura, you help, you have everything. Hashem Alekecha, Imach Loich Asar Tadavar, it's something that you feel all of a sudden, Echab HaKoyach, you have strength. I have a minna. And I could continue, and I could go vater. That's the koyach of Chanukah that the Chashmanoim draw from Yankee that was mashers it for them and for us. And we're here gathered to take this oil and continue this to the entire year. Now where did I come to this thought? Slonim and Ebezal Zangazin, Tufshi and Samach Vuv, was in a terrible crisis. We're first cousin. And I know the insights. His Rebetzin was very young and terribly sick, and she did the last eshtadl. She came to America. Her, she had no lungs, no kidneys. And the matzah only worsened over here. And the doctor said she'll never make the flight back to Israel. He was over there, and she was over here. And the Rebbe said he has a kabula from Mezuvah, that he shouldn't leave Israel. She didn't want him to come. It was a terrible matzah. It was Erev Chanukah Tufshi in Samech Vuv. I remember that day. And I heard the episode from my cousin, the Slonim Rosh Hashiva, the Moshe Bezovsky, the son from the Rebbe. It was Erev Chanukah that the doctors gave her 42 to 48 hours. At that point, the Rebbe was considering to break his Kabula and maybe yes, go to Etz Yisrael. They reserved four seats on a plane. He asked the Zikna V'chashuva Yatsibur to go with him. And she insisted he shouldn't come. She knew what it means for Aslan and the Rebbe to leave its rule. Hanukkah, no way. He came out and he said, cancel the, the, the seats. And he told his son, the Rosh Hashiva, when Echnaruga came at some lichtel, and I saw the tzibur from over a thousand people that came from all over its rule, to take chizuk for me, to take chizuk for me, to take for I was devastated. I was besides myself. I said, "Vi can nich gain mechazik zan demoyle mich when I lay in shivri shurim." I'm so tzibrach, and I couldn't walk. I was misamik in the pusik imo yo noichi betzur. I focused in on these words that a boy nishlalam abes met me, and all of a sudden I felt like a wave, like a zerem and chizik and strength, and I went in and chagetzinden and chagezok dem shmos. The Rosh Hashiva tells me that there's a Rav in Bayit Vagan. He told me his name, I don't remember. That the next day, the first day Hanukkah, had to speak an event for 300 couples that Nabuch don't have children. And he had, didn't come up with anything to, to tell them. But he was more moved when he heard the Rebbe say, but there's Imay and Oichi Betzura. He didn't know if this whole episode that took place with the Rebbe, he didn't even know the Rebbe's not sick. And he decided he'll tell them, you know what, I don't have what to share with you, but I can tell you one thing. You're in a terrible tzura. I have children, I don't understand your tzura. Imo yonoichi betzura. The Eibish is with you. Now when did I feel it? I heard Slonim and Rebbe yesterday say, Imo yonoichi betzura. I felt it. It resonated into me. It went into me. It felt like electricity. And he imitated the way the Rebbe said, Imo yonoichi betzura. Now I'm not here to promote Slonim and Rebbe. He's not Israel, doesn't come to America, as I told you. But... Tens of people called this roof to ask him, could you imitate again the way the Rebbe said, Imai Noi Chibetzura, tell me that, the tune, the tune, the hearts. It's that message that I didn't hear with my physical ears. That all of us want to hear the message from Imai Noi Chibetzura. 
This is the site when Hanukkah was Megaita knows the Eibishter is due. He knows exactly what you go through and he accompanies you a begleitach in the extra minute. Now, how does it have a direct chaychis to our matzav? Let's bring it down. The Rebbe Nishaloylam is our father and we're all his children. Buna matam l'shem alakaychem. I heard many years ago from Afeta, a cousin from the Rosh Hashiva, Rebbe Chaim Vakshal, to Megizuk, t'shtayt in the Haguda, v'es amulayni ayli habunam. The umal, the toil, the zechnitchenen, belonged for the kingdom. All of us have careers, businesses, we're associated with so many things, enjoyment and pleasure, gashmias, rachnias, umal, belonged for the kingdom. A person is created for Amal to give to the Toldas, to the Yeladim, to the Yevalid, what you brought into the world. And if you invest Amal in something else, you're literally stealing the Koyach, the energy that belongs to your children. Amaleinu Eloabonim, the main Amal Balank Fakindu. And he told me, Arala, I'm to Gestazana Tata Mezashem. And you might have Tsar Gidalbunim. Gidalbunim itself is Tsar. You'll have to run in the middle of the night to make a bottle. You'll have to go get a medicine. you have to go to the doctor, put up with a chutzpah, with an actor. At that moment, you should know that what you do, do of their belt, shuckles to oven and himmel. What we do in this world is ma'ira oven. Hashem tzulchud is like a shadow that does exactly what we do. At the moment that you do for your children is a time that you could daven us, the greatest esrotzen that there is. And when you wake up in the middle of the night and you're tired and your eyes are verklaked and you're making a bottle, Tavon, Zug, Rebbeuschlum, Kik, Vesi, Ich, Tif, Aman, Zin. Kim, Tidi, Famich, Ich, Ben, Dich, Dan, Kind. Du, Verklau, Yisrael, they're your children. That was the message that he gave to me. And trust me, it made a lot easier. The bottle makings or anything else that we have to put up when we toil with children. Gewald, gewald, I don't know who more could have in this tefillah, who more invests more amal toil than this tzibah here, who more is amal and toils for children, that Mesiris Nefesh Lamala Mateva, mit blood, sweat, and tears, than this oilem you do for your children against all your middas, every second, 24-7, it's shuckles ala himlin and ala velten. There's nobody greater than you and closer than you to the Rebbein Neshaloylam. There's no one that has the Rebbein Neshaloylam more imoy, imochem, Hashem alakecha imoch, than this oilam. In Gans Klal Yisrul, Kiktaros, and waits for your tefillas at these terrifying, terrible, challenging moments that you have with your children. Rabavi told me, If a person goes against his midas, against his feelings, against his wants, his desires, his wishes, but when someone is maver al midoisov, what does he do? He's negating his being, his essence, his bevatel, his yeshes. And at that moment, there's no mapshuam. The pshuam is only chal on a chalois, on a yesh. But if you go against your midis, there's no yesh to carry chatuam. And there's no yesh to carry dinam. And you can renew yourself, renew the world, bring yeshias. By Savruam at the Mulgevain to the and Gezuk, the Zoya says that there's a Makatar Gashashun, a Ploini of Kach, Ploini of Kach. This person did a Zoy, Dea by the Dea by the Gelang to do a Ploini, can't be Zugan Uvit Kach. But the Mavatl de Yesh is no more Ploini, can't be Zugan Uvit Kach. But the Mavatl de Yesh. Rabbi Sai, Edsens, the Mavatl de Yesh, 24-7, there's no Ploini to carry any Dinam, any Chatuim, any suffering. And it's Kens Banai and the Mamtik Zan Al Dinam, Sarachman, for the Ganze Welt, Banai in the Welt with Mashiach, we with Balzain. This is what Ed states. Tonight is the Yurtzat from Rebchaim Shmalevitz, Chisigan Alaini. It's about a six day war. He was in a shelter with his Bukhrim. And it was, the radio was saying that they're having Mamish that needed Nisim. It was a terrible matzav. The Israeli forces were Mamish losing it. So those Gazayin Sakim Takloy of Klal Yisrael. And Rebchaim, Ademus Moedi, gave him Tashmiz de Bukhrim, Yedaz al Neman Akabula. Akabula's Emmas, also Pekiyach Nefesh. And all of a sudden, a lady stood up and said, Rosh Hashiva, I want to share with you something. 
I am 21 years myself. Ich bin Agina. My husband left me 21 years ago. He took away my money. He tortures me. I stopped saying Rebbe Nishlolam before Krishna. I am Moichel, but I can't even say Moichel. But yet, I am Kuli Kalakitzen, Klal Yisrael Gaitinta. I am Moichel him. And she yelled his name. I am Moichel him. And Rebbe Nishlolam is his dad. I am asking you, be Moichel Klal Yisrael and save us. While she was saying, this radio was saying, that there is Gaba here, the strengthening here, and they won the war. And so then I said, so I do in me, and I said, I'm going to go to the house, and 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 I'm in jener minute peult it's Yeshias, nissen in the fluids for Claudius rule. So the hechst in minute daven, sots in zin, yedish it's ruch in yedin daven Yeshias. What an esrutz not you creating. And remember, ima yanoichi bitzuri, you have Hashem with you. Daven for dzich, for the vab, for the man, for the kinder, for the eltern, for them in the cans, for Claudius rule, for shchinte de gelise. To understand the godless of the tzibah that's gathered here, I want to share with you Riksha Slave, Hirhurim. We're all at the end, in the worst part, in the darkest, lowest part of this Golas. In Medav, Poyon, the Gila, Shlaim, is Ashalif and Take. I said that when a man should have a tzibah, he came to the end, he said, I'm going to go to the end, I'm going to go to the end, I'm going to go to the end. But my father was saying, there's a first cousin of the Slanim Rebbe, and he's close, and there was a lady. An elderly lady that called my father a year ago and asked him, Yudel, ich bet, zos maske zan, she's a slana mechsidus tefen daheim, a lady from the high 90s. Zos me maske zan, ba slana merebe, eva askure. What's the askure? I'm old. I'm sick. I'm suffering. Ich will nicht leiden. The rebbe zol davon and zol endig ma leid. I can't commit suicide. Ich will nicht leiden. Yudel, zos me tzige zukt. My father was besides himself. What should he do? So he called the Rebbe. So the Rebbe had said, I'm bitter as Kura. No. At the demand where he is, and he said, he will not live. The Rebbe gave him a card. The Rebbe told him, Judel Zogi, as in heintige Zeiten, was mir leben, is kedai, zu davon, in a beten, of a riches, jumem, ach, verrak, zu de leben, lebe dig, meschich, zu keine meschich, kind schon. So shoot, not to go in labor. So how can you to labor, Zugi? It's a question of days. Mashiach is here, but we need a koyach. We will to break and put it on the gulas and the sibedrain to get ill. No, as always, my mom shech a yeshia. Yisra na oir is no mina choshech. Less na oir is like the zoya ill. Then ufik megoyche shoycha. Oir was kimter al dafke for nothing stinish. We find this concept that in order to draw a geila mizmen hub ma special koyich was also brechin the gulas, but gulas mitzrayim the zoya says gulas mitzrayim a shoyish kol gulias the source the fundament the base of all gulias that Klal Yisrael had afterwards. Geilas mitzrayim is the source the shoyish and all the geilas was yidnam gehat from buvul from mudai from yuvon and azoy leuse the gila shleim mitzrayim kemei says chemei mitzrayim and in the fluids it's also ingrained in geilas mitzrayim the shoyish from the gila seed. Who's the one 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 So we have to be misbeinah. What was the reason that Yidin were in the one who's 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 What's the common denominator between the two? So the Rambam, a Moiser, who says to you, the guest of Mibel and Malchus, so stop in forgiving them. Ich masse them. Lushen hara in forgiving. My Yisrael of all the Lushen. English. So Rabbi is asking me to speak English. It's in the right moment. Because there's a Yid, who's a given to a Ruven Providence, Rabbi Usha Verna, and he was a genius. He was afterwards Reuven Tveria. And he learned English through the Sonsino Shas. And he said, 
he said that English is actually a very rich language, that there's many, many vocabularies for every word. It's not my first language, so you can help me out, Rabadi. But there's one word that I didn't find a translation in from English to Yiddish. Faginen. I am the I tried to give me an English word for Faginen, so nishdu azavart. And that's exactly what we're in the middle of. Gulus Mitzrayim is giving. Gulus Mitzrayim was English in Faginen. I don't have a word in English. And therefore, to bring Geilus Mitzrayim, we needed a Koyach of Faginen. I and Toive, being happy for Yenem's joy. So how did Geilus Mitzrayim come? David Shita tells Moshe Rabbeinu, you're going to be the Manik, the Rabbe, the Moshiach, the Goyal Yisrael. Look, Moshe, I have an older brother, Aaron, one minute. He is the Rebbe of Eden now. He's 80 years there suffering with them in Mitzrayim. I? I wasn't by Paroi. I wasn't Midian by Yisrael. Eden don't know me. I'm younger than him. Why hurt him? I don't need it. I don't want it. Nebuchadnezzar says, don't worry. I want you to go. I promise you, I you won't have a problem. The kash is mind-boggling. Why hurt Aaron HaKoyim? Now, I have to be politically correct. Let's try to imagine what's happening here. Let's take a chesidus. There's a rabbi there. For 80 years, a good will be a srul Aaron HaKoyim. And we tell him one nice day, resign, go home. We're bringing, we're importing a younger brother from Yudi Bist Os Rebbe. Egad Zander Rebbe. And he doesn't even need it. Why do this? Why challenge Aaron Metazana Sayan? The Teretz is Valgulus Mitzrayim was in Faginen. And to draw Gaelus Mitzrayim, we needed a force, a Koyich, to break that. Shtait, a El Terebrida, Aaron Akoyan. And he sees a younger brother, Moshe. And he's stepping aside. For the Acha Vesumach Belibo Yafagin. Ooh, yetz kim ge'ilus mitzrayim. Now let's go to our last gullus that we are now, because of it, gathered here. The ge'ula see the state ain't you. The prophet Malachi says, in That will be the tafkid. The work that Eliyo will have to do before the Gula Shleimah, return the hearts from others on Bonim and Bonim Alavoisam. Because that'll be the biggest challenge at the door for the Ikvus of the Mashiach. As the Mishnah says, Be Ikvus Mashiach. In the Shpeta, Shpeta, Doidus before Mashiach. What will be the Samanim that you're there? In Ikvus Mashiach, Ben come the others. Children will stand up and pain and cause anguish to their fathers. Bita, the Ima, daughters will hurt their mothers. Chutzpah, Yazgid, the chutzpah will go up to a level that we won't be able to even bear it. And as the Gemara Chagiga says, Shaya cursed Eden with 18 curses. It was a Nevoah he couldn't hold back. Abba Neskara Radate, when he gave the 18th Nevoah, Yerhavu Anar Bezok and Yong should not have their Echeretz for old. This is the Nisoyen Adair. Not only by Eden, by Goyen, by Masa'ilam. They're challenged and they're full of fear of this new Ruach, this new wave that parents are literally afraid of children. Children, not only curse, not only pain, parents, they hit the parents. They abuse the parents. This is the sign of the Dar and the Tkifa. And this is only a simon because we're so close to the time of the Geula Vosetzan, the Heishiv Levo Vosabunim Levonim Levoi, so Menorazoit came in the Geula. And it's not a suffix by me that parents that sit here they are the ones that are breaking and challenging and defeating and conquering this terrible Nisayan. Them is Gaber, they rise, and the mother on the Midas, and I from see this Nefesh Lamalama Teva. They embrace and they hug and they shower unconditional love for their children. They are the ones that are Mamshik the Geula. And I believe that that's the reason that the Nisayan becomes so much harder and so much more difficult every second. Every moment it gets worse and worse by our children in Klal Yisrael, in the world. Because this is Al Aros to draw and bring out, to be Megala from you parents, Azamin Koyich, Fin Meishivzan, Laivuvus Albunim, Lavbunim, Malavoisam, which is breaking this Golis and literally bringing Mashiach. How great is Yeschus! To you will Eliyoah Novi come. Come will the day, and the day is so near that Kans Klal Yisrael will see that you are on the forefront from Klal Yisrael through your steady, constant base, avoider. 
of 24-7 being Mekai and the Heshiv Levuvus Adbunim Labunim Alavoysam and Gans Klal Yisrul and Pamal Yishomal and Aibish and Allah Maluchim and Allah Uvus Vimus will be Maket to you. You were chosen to this Heilig Avoide. Now we're coming back to TP, Twisted Parenting. So anyone was at Ibiga today in the Shvel from TP knows the Heilig Avart from Nesiva Shulam. I was like to hear it myself from him. It's printed in a cipher. That there's two times Vayamuin. There's a Vayamuin less Nachem. Yaakov refused to give up on Yosef. And Yosef, by a man, he refused to give in to Potiphar when he was challenged with that Nesayan. So one is connected to the other. Because Yaakov was by a man, Nachem, and never gave up on Yosef, and cared for him, and felt him, and showered love, and a blusen from the Vatans, Ahava, therefore Yosef had the strength and courage to stand up to Potiphar and be Mekayim by a man, by a man, Potiphar, I don't want it. And as Avi adds, Shal Sheles is the tam, is the trap. And the word Vayimayin, that through Vayimayin, from Yankiv, he connected Yosef to the Shalshele Sa'uvis. So we all know this word that Avi made world famous. I just want to add as a Matuna Toivet, some oilim. Vayimayin is Rusha Toivet, a Pusik, Rabbi Nefraim, Zukta Sarishim. Ma Yofis Umana Amt Ahava, but Tanugim the Pusik says, Ma Yofis Umana Amt Ahava is Vayimayin. How beautiful, how sweet it is when you shower a have to your children. You refuse to give up, no matter what. No matter what he does, no matter what I'm challenged with. And you implement in him, you ingrain in him. You plant in, in him a koyach to be by a moon to the Tnesyonah Sadar and give up on himself. The only way is through my yufus man am tahavu. And how is it connected to this time of Hanukkah? So the Mesech to Soifrim, the first source is on Hanukkah. That says the halucha is mezuzah b'yemen nechanika b'small. The right side from the doorpost and the left side is nechanika because the pasuk says my yofis mana amt my yofis be mezuzah mana amt nechanika. How beautiful is the mezuzah? How sweet is the nechanika when they're together? What's the shaykes? Let's open our hearts and let's remember this always. Chanika is the only mitzvah that we do al pesach beisoy mibachutz. And the doorpost outside, Bachutz, the Koshna Tzamaq, the Vajas Yisrael points it out, what does it mean? By Yidin, you always do a mitzvah inside. You run away from the Tumah from the street. Bachutz is a muk of a clip, it's a chetzainim, from Alush, Schwarz, from Schwachkeiten, from Chashkes. Zuk, the Koshna Tzamaq, the Tachlis from Nechanika is to light up those who exited the bias. Those who are me Bachutz! Those who are in the streets, in the clippers and in the Timis. Light them up. That's the Nechanik. Put it a Pesach base on Mibachutz. Those who left the Pesach Abayas and they're ready in the streets, Mibachutz. And light up the Mezuzah. Show them that the door is open for you. What's the idea behind Mezuzah Zukta Rambam? The essence of Mezuzah is to remember the Rabbani Shalom Bekhtisusa Bitsusa. When you go out of your house, you come up to the house. It's a turning point when you go, when you leave the Shvel from the, the doorpost from your home. Which is again to light up the mezuzah to those who left the house to the outsides. Show them that the door is open. There's Nairo, there's Oyf and Kedusha from love, from Vayemun, from Mayufis, from Anaam, from Mezuzah, from Nechanika, Ahav, from Elton, and to you. Come back. Maybe you'll want to turn back one day. Keep the door open, light up the doorpost. And this is what the Nechanik is to remind us, and this is why we're gathered at these moments. With Gedali, you think it's a coincidence that the Matzah Chanukah didn't work out Matzah Shabbos or Thursday night? Because yet this man was man zuk nisht avdule man emt Chanukah medziich me gezegin sich nish. Nechanukah is a oir was malaykt of Pesach based on the bachutz to those who are bachutz, and we show them there's a mezuzah, there's a door that's open for you. Mezuzahs oisi yezaz moves, and you can remove death, spiritual death, physical death. And all is through the Avoide for the Siva Shulam that Rabbi gives over via Muan List Nachem, showering in, infusing, recharging your children with the Kaich via Muan Tipatifar, through the Rabbi Nefrai, my Yufisamana Amt Ahava, giving Ahava unconditionally, no matter what. I'm ending with a story 
But one word, Beshuschem, to share a fascinating Chiddush that I'm saying here, the cover this island. Three minutes. We all know that one of the Rishonim, Rabbeinu Gershom, is referred to as Rabbeinu Gershom Ma'oyer Hagayla. The one who lit up the Golas. Why does he have this title? He's entitled Ma'oyer Hagayla. So we all know because he established a Cheyrem with two parts in it. One part is you're not allowed to forcefully divorce your spouse. The Begnish Megadosh on Isha Bal Karcha. And you're not allowed to marry two wives. So why was he Mayor the Goyla with that, those that Cheyrem? Because in Gulis, we are in a relationship with the Rebbein Shlom. We are his Kala, Knesset Yisrael Kala, Kruah Banima. And even if we fall into a dark Gulis and Chatuim, he cannot divorce us and push us away and abandon us, Balkarcha. And so can he add another nation. So Rebbein Gershom is the one with his Cheyrem, this Takana, he was Mayor the Goyla. Now I want to say tonight, a new Tam, and a new reason why he's called Rabbeinu Gershom Oyer Hagoyle. There's an unbelievable Oyer Zerua that the Oyer Zerua says in Hilchas Avelu Simetuf Kuf Ches from the Rishonim. He brings a din that if one of the Zion Kroivim Shmatzich, you have to be misabel on him, and he adds Rabbeinu Gershom Oyer Hagoyle was Ms. Abel on a child that he lost that went off derech and had sich geschmacht. Then there's a Matre Moyet Kuten who also brings this din. And he also brings the Kacho Yamasu Verbeini Gershem when his son left Yiddishkeit. And there's a Gersa, even his mother. Now I believe, as low dame haben and sanam der pshat leider leider, why he's called Ma'ira Gaila. Because in Ikvisa de Meshicha, this is the sign of the door, OTD, children leaving the derech. And there's so much parents that are tzaddikim, they're nothing at fault, they're not guilty at all, but they're caught up in this gezaira because it's Ikvisa de Meshicha, Ben Kambomis. Bitta beima, chitz be yazgi, yil habi anar bezukin. It says, Agzaira, far, le yuit, kemen vahesh, le vuvus, abuna, abuna, malavaisa. But sometimes, sometimes the Yitzhahara comes with all types of thoughts to put in guilt into you, to break you, to sadden you, to make you into yish, to despair, to make you fall. Remember, remember, Rabbeini Geshem at Kaina Chalila Nishmala Zanaladas, that he's guilty in any way or form in having a child like that. He also had a child like that. That we don't know, as my cousin the Shashiva said, we don't know why. One day we will know. He lit up the tinkles the part, the spades the part from Gulas. When we are suffering, and remember Rabbi Nigeshim also had a child like that. You have to be mechazik yourself and know it doesn't mean Hashem abandoned you, it doesn't mean Hashem is mashlich you. And it's a terrible feeling. Who's his ayid? No, it's a hoven kinder. No, it's a raisin kinder. It's a friend kind. It's a meibishn. It's a shluchim al play a meilich lechayre. This is what I hear from parents. The answer is yet you have the gelegenheit, opportunity to bring imai anoichi in this tzura to believe it's a shem. He's with you. Ebagleitich. And when you have that koyich, you have the koyich. Nasli bekalaleches. You could go. You could continue. You could push. Can zgaim varta. You can continue to do what you have to. Don't blame yourself. Don't feel me yish. Deal with it. Be mechazik yourself. So I'm ending with a story. But as a simon to everything we spoke, it's a little amal amazman. Late. Let's use the initials of this one organization, this one umbrella, TP and Kesha Nafshi. Twisted Parenting from Rabavi, Kesh and Nafshi for Reb Gedalia, which is one. And let's use it as a similar to everything we're speaking here. There's a Kesh and Nafshi between you and the Rabbi Yenishel which is Mamish Twisted Parenting. It's true, we're parents to our kids, and that's why we're gathered here. That connects us. That's the common denominator. But let us twist it. Let's twist it. We all have a parent, the Eibishter, 
Imoy and Oichi Betsuda, the Ibishta is in the parent, and he's mit me, and he's mekusha to me, bekesher nafshi, no matter what. And how are you bringing the Ibishta into your life? By doing the right thing, by you connecting to your kids, by doing, practicing twisted parenting, and being mekusha to them, no matter what, when it's difficult and challenging and frustrating, and your mamish feel like you're busting, you're plotting. But nevertheless, you continue to go on and to do what you have to and continue to try and connect and hug and embrace and shower my yufusim on the arm, tahava, unsened and echanak of the Pesach Baisa, of the Mezizah, I feel if today was an emebechitz, this is TP, this is Keshanafshi, this is one umbrella, and we're all being mechazag ourselves for our children and through that drawing Hashem to us. So here is the Maisa. It came up on my mind, Hant Machmitu Gabachmain, as this is a moiri de Gemesh to all of us. It's a gewaldige Gudel that his name was Repshaya Bardika. He was a son in law from Bisrol Shiklava, the Pasa Shilchim, from the Tamida Hagra. And it's well known that there was a Aliyah from the Prushim, there was Aliyah that the Tamida Hagra went up to Israel. And this Rabshaya Bardike, Nabuch was an Alman, he lost his wife, and he had one son and one daughter, a Ben Yuchid and a Bas Yuchid. And he decided to join the Aliyah, and he decided to take upon him this journey to Etzis Ruh. This Maise is a Maise Emes, who do Aydem Tzadim, that wrote it at the time. Rabshaya Bardike went out on a journey on a ship, with his son and daughter, only son and only daughter. And they were hoping to start again a new life in its rule, a new page. But in the middle of that trip, all of a sudden, a terrible storm falls on the ocean, tremendous waves, and the ship is starting to shake, and the waves are getting more and more, the ship is starting to mamish throw itself. And they realize they're in a tremendous crisis, they're in danger, they don't know if they're going to make it, I can imagine Altsweint, everything is davening, everything is screaming, and the ship is mamish throwing itself at this point from one side to another, and it happened, it broke! You're all in cold water. Rabshai right away grabbed with the right and left hand his daughter and his son. He's in cold water, between waves, in the middle of a storm. He oriented himself and he said, I'm two hours away from the port of Haifa. It's about two hours of swimming. No other way. P'kiyach neifish. And he starts to swim, holding in his two hands his son, his only son, and his daughter, his only daughter. And they try to help him. You can imagine, after an hour swimming, he feels, this is it, his kaiches are leaving him. Mamish Allah his bones are becoming like stone. And he realizes very quickly, there's no way he's going to make it together with both children. Maybe if he leaves one child in the ocean here, He'll be able with the other hand still to try to swim and save himself with one child. Now, who is he leaving? He has one son and one daughter. Ben Koydem Labas. I'm sorry. Bunim the Mechiyah the Mitzvahs. He tells his daughter, I have to leave you over here. What should I do? If not, we're all lost. Tata Gas Mechtu Ibelazen in the middle of the Chvali, in the middle of the Vasa. What should I do? If not, we're all lost. I'm a spal for you. Hashem should send you. The Gemurah says, a daf shall spin, maybe a malach. Try to do it. Go next to us. Try to swim. But if I'm going to still hold you, I'm mamish feel, I'm, everything is breaking in me. We're, we're all lost. You can imagine the machza, the vision, between heaven and black, stormy waves. There's a fear well. The tatig is saying, She's weeping, he's crying. And it comes the moment he says goodbye and he opens her hand. And she falls into the cold water. At that moment, she shrieked, Tata, they lost the Mechiba. Tata, where are you leaving me? Where are you dropping me into a sea? Instantly, he grabbed her back and he felt like new kaychas are waking up in him, new adrenaline, new energy. And he continued to start swim again and he made it to the port of Haifa and they were all saved. From Haifa, he traveled to Jerusalem. He was a famous person at the time, the Mavchabadim and Chorvitz Rabbi Dachusid, to come for Shachris. He was Euler, he benched the Goymel, then they Mavchabadim with the Drusha. And he shared this episode with the Euler. 
And he said, Rabbi Sai, what's the lesson, what's the limud? We're all children to in the tata, to the tata in Himmel. But sometimes there's an hug of Hester Punim, there's an hug of Din, and there's a psak minatoyre that the Abishta says, I have to open my hand and drop you into cold waves, into a sea, and this is the machlis, the redifus, the tsuras, the pain, the anguish, the blood, the tears, the suffering, the ghoulis that Yidin are going through. It's an hugif and Hester Punim. And you cannot change it. But you have one way if the Yid stands up and screams and shrieks and shouts, Tate, they even lost the Mechibe! Tate, and him was the Chman Tate! You wake up new Koiches, you wake up a new Anhuge, you change the Din to Rachman, you change the Hester Punim to Uris Punim, the Ebishter grabs you back and rescues you and saves you, and you make it out from the sea. This is the Mushal Venimshal, Sanishka Mushal, Sa Emma Samasa, and Sanishka Nimshal, Sa Emma Limit. But what is it, Nagaya, to us? We parents, Alla Tatas, Machen Hand mit mit Kinder. We all are trying to swim in a terrifying storm from terrible, terrible waves. And we feel so many times that our kaiches, our lozens, the cows, our bones are like stone, we can't move. Climb a mountain, I can't. And you feel sometimes that you're opening your hands and you're dropping your son. You're closing the door. And that could be at a time that he stole your car, you robbed your credit card, or you acted up. And you feel you want to open your hand and drop him into a sea. This is it. Enough is enough. Rabavi Metalotoidus doesn't refer to me now. Please remember that moment. Please remember and open your heart, your soul, your ears to hear the child is screeching, Tata, Veyman, lost the Tata, where are you dropping me now into the sea after I did this worst of the worst? Now when I need you most, Hear the voice screaming in him, even if he doesn't scream it physically. His whole soul, his generations, his kinder, his eindiklach are screaming to you. Tata ve'imu lost in sibir. Grab onto him, even if you dropped him. Hug him again, embrace him again, take him in again. Against all odds, against everything. Against all the nesyoinus. And at that moment, koiches will wake up in you. The eibishter is with you at that moment to give you new adrenaline, new koich, new energy, new strength to keep on trucking. And at more than that, at that moment, you're shliach of Klal Yisrael, you're chosen, challenged by this Nesoyen, to draw the grass, the rachman, and to break the gulas. This is the Nesoyen, you're bringing Mashiach so many steps closer. And at that moment, be even the Lesater, he saved him, the What he does in this world, he awakens of Yenavel, Tashem Tzilchud, the Rabbi Shalom is like a shadow. If you grab again back onto your child, without any koyach, what are you married? Or even an emel that a boy in shalolim strikes those on him to chop the trick and claw you through. He picks up those suffering amongst us who is not suffering. Wait, ich kalachen in the hearts. Wait, ich kalachen leiden. As Almuna told me, this world is a big show, a big play. Who wins? The one who acts best. But everyone is just acting. Some of us cannot even act. It spilled out on the face. They don't have koyach to act. Yehidah talach in hearts, there's so much machlis, there's so much mental machlis, there's so much redifus, gzaydis, so much choyse panusa, there's so much amongst us that are suffering with children, suffering with parents, so much amongst us that are waiting for children. Shadichem and Shulam, so much fear, so much phobia, so many tears that are flowing from Yiddish Apeinim and all the Ibish Tabais. Hestepunim of the Hexta Madrai Ganoichi has to ask you because we're so close to Mashiach. Sashud Nishadalabim Labadik, Tin Derichte Gazach. 
Gewalt, Gewalt, when you chap on your child. At that moment, as Rav Shai Bardika said, the Rabbi in the Shaloi Lamoivin chap tzrikun zankin. And he changes down who gives an Esther Punim to Eudis Punim, from Din to Rachman, from Sudas to Yeshias, from Tsar to Brucha, and from Gulas to Geila, to the Hei Shiv Levuvus Albunim, Levunim Alavoisam, Twisted Parenting, Kesha Nafshi, from the Eidish to Taos, with Bias Mashiach, Yobavia Galaini, Bimhairu Biyamaini, Omain Vomain.